In this video for Polycraft Academy, I'll show you how to make a jetpack. Like most of the really fun things in Polycraft, making a jetpack takes a lot of crude oil. So I would suggest making one of these, an oil derrick, before you even start. Now oil derricks are placed on special oil producing blocks and they will make you crude oil by the drum full. So you can just set them up and then go do other things and you'll have plenty of oil. Now oil blocks are down here on the bedrock so we'll just use my jetpack to get up to the engineering floor. Jetpacks are turned on by hitting F and that will allow you to fly and then hitting F again will turn it off. So this is actually the storeroom. I'll have to go up one more floor to the engineering floor. Now making jetpacks is kind of complicated. You're going to need several other machines before you can do it. So this is an injection molder. It will help us to make things like gaskets, which we'll need to make the jetpack. And next to it, I have an extruder. Extruders make things like hoses and fibers, and we'll need those as well. And then we'll need a machining mill. So the machining mill allows us to make the actual dies that we put into the extruder so that we can make specific things. And all of this is crafted like normal. Now we'll also need a distillation column. You can see I've set up two here. And distillation columns allow you to take crude oil and distill it into the things that it's made of. So naphtha and other small molecules. And there's a whole distillation tree on the Wikipedia page that will show you what you need to distill and how many times it has to be distilled so that you can get down to the molecules that you actually need to make the polymers that you need to make the jetpack. So all of that's at polycraft.utdallas.edu and you can just follow along. Now if you care about this it will also give you experience points when you take it out so this is a great way to get experience points really quickly. So once we have our crude oil, we are ready to make the jetpack. So to make the jetpack, we're going to need hoses, a regulator, some propane, and a Kevlar vest. So first things first, let's make some gaskets. Gaskets are made in the injection molder using a gasket metal die. And so to make the injection molder actually make more gaskets, we need bags of polymers. Bags, not sacks, that's important. So put our bags of EVA, ethylene vinyl acetate, into the injection molder. And you can use a lot of different polymers for this. I happen to be making an extreme grade jetpack, but you can make them at much lower levels. So just follow the wiki and it'll tell you what kinds of polymers you can use an injection molder. But we're about to get an extreme pressure gasket from our EVA. And then we're going to need some hoses. So we'll go over to the extruder. I already have some made here, but we'll make some more just to show you. We have the hose metal die in place. And so now we need some more polymer. So again, I'll get a sack, try to turn it into bags my bags in and we see that nothing is happening I must have chosen the wrong polymer and I did that is the Kevlar polymer so let's get rid of that and get there we go some EVA the machine will not let you use a polymer that you can't use so the Kevlar polymer the phenylene terephthalamide cannot be extruded into hoses and so the machine wouldn't let us do it but here it goes, it's making progress. So let's craft a regulator. To make the regulator, we need hoses here and here. And then we need four gaskets here, 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 and here. And a single piece of redstone right in the middle. So now we have our regulator. Now the next thing we have to do is make a Kevlar vest. So Kevlar vests actually take several steps of synthesis. The polymer that we need to make in order to make the Kevlar is polyphenylene terephthalamide. 
There are several steps to its synthesis, so I'm not going to show you here, but you can follow the wiki and that will show you how to make the polymer. Okay, it's just from things you get from crude oil and some catalysts. So once we have these polymers, we're going to make some fibers. So first I'll go ahead and stop this and we'll exchange this hose for a fiber die. And then we'll put in our polymer pellets. So we need to get those guys back. I have no space, here we go. Okay, so once we have bags of polymers, we can put these back into the extruder and that will make us fibers. Now we need eight fibers to make a vest. That's gonna take some time, but I already have some here, so we can just craft it. So on a normal crafting table, We'll take our eight fibers and we will put them in the correct pattern for a vest and that will give us a Kevlar vest. Now Kevlar vests do a lot of cool things, not just make jetpacks. They're also really great armor. But now I think we have everything that we need. Here's some propane. So propane you get from distilling light paraffins and so you can make it just from the distillation column that I showed you earlier. So if we want to craft, here we need a couple of hoses. We need a Kevlar vest right in the middle. We need the regulator. And then we need some propane. Put propane on both sides. And that gives us the jetpack. So you'll see this is 100% fuel remaining. As you use the jetpack, you'll use up the fuel, but you don't use up the jetpack itself. You can always put that back onto a crafting table with more propane, and then you'll get another jetpack with 100% fuel. And don't forget, there are detailed instructions on how to do all of this at the wiki page, polycraft.utdallas.edu. So go have some fun, polycrafters, and make yourself some jetpacks.